Hi everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to make some very simple and easy trinket dishes. I only use about three to four different materials and tools and it's really affordable too. Hi everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to make celestial dishes. So when I started my business, I didn't realise how much time it would take to do everything and so I never had time to film. But now that I don't do my business full time and I only do limited edition boxes because I have a magical self-care subscription box, it means that I have time to do some filming. Apologies in advance for the quality of the filming because I don't have a tripod or lighting because I'm not at home right now, I'm in London. So I'm just going to show you. So I'm going to make some celestial dishes for my business and I'm going to show you guys how I do it so that you guys can also basically just make your own as well, because I feel like there's room for all of us. I haven't actually done this before, but I have faith in my crafty abilities. And as I mentioned in other videos, the what I focus on in my business is raising your vibration through creation. Whether you create for fun, for a hobby, or you want to start your own little business with the, you know, as a little side hustle thing, or if you would love this to be a full-time job, then I'm gonna give you lots and lots of ideas of crafts that you can do that are relatively easy. Um, I'm just gonna get some scissors. Crafts that you can do that are relatively easy that you can turn into a business and you can personalize yourself. So I'm gonna show you my personal design and then you can go and make your own basically. So for the materials themselves, I just use air dry clay and paint. And then I use some sort of tool to cut the clay, a bit of baking paper and some paint brushes. So once I've cut a piece, you can see that I'm kind of squishing it around in my hands just to kind of make it an easy shape to roll out. I am getting it to the thickness of how thick I want the dish to be. Make the dish not too thick that it's too difficult to dry, but make it thick enough that it doesn't like crumble or break. I decided to get some cookie cutters involved. This is not a compulsory part of the making process. You can make shapes with your hands or use whatever you have lying around. I saw in some sort of clay thing, I think from when I was younger, that you add grooves and water to stick the pieces together. So that's exactly what I did. And then I used a little tool to just squish the edges down so that the two pieces were connected as best as I could make it. And then eventually I just got a wet paintbrush and tried to smooth that down a bit. And then I just made lots more. I found this random star stencil, which made a really cool star shape texture design on the surface. Once again, you do not need to use this stencil. It's just an additional option. And um, I just used a bottle lid to cut circles. So you can get really inventive and just find what's lying around the house. And once again, I am adding a bit of water to add these circles because I have made moon shapes. And to make the crescent shapes, I just got that lid again and I cut the little circles into nice crescent shapes. I put the dishes into some bowls on some baking paper to create that curvature shape. Just leave them in the bowls for them to create that shape and dry a little bit, but eventually you should take them out of the bowls so that the underneath bit can dry. Once again, I'm just using a tool to connect the pieces together and smooth it out a little bit and they are done. So I did actually leave some of the dishes in the bowls overnight just to create that bowl shape because some of them did dry a little bit flat. And then you just put them all on a cooling rack and it said on the instructions that it takes about 24 hours to dry, but these took like three days. However, after about a day, I decided to paint the base color and just keep leaving it out to dry. But yeah, and then I also made this really cool incense holder as well. So I did the base color in a white. You can do whatever color you want. Even though the clay was already white, I wanted it to be even more crisp and clean. And then as you can see, I added some gold details on there just with any gold paint. Here is the ones that were just painted white and here were the gold ones. You can have a nice little birthday party or some sort of get together with friends and paint them together or you can do it yourself.